Alright, hello everyone. So it's time for continuation of my Cinemality Exploration series. This is just the third and final. So we had already talked about what some of the basic Cinemalis are. Um, the different four classes that I talked about of Cinemalis. Uh, how to, how to uh, do those classes by changing some of the character or targets within the Cinemali. And then the next session was talking about using Sinwalis and then adding things at the beginning, adding things at the end, inserting things in the middle, all still perhaps while changing targets and uh, characters. Now, so for this third session, I want to talk about transforming your Sinwalis. So if you actually transform the whole Sinwali uh, in another way, you have yet another way to look at Sinwalis. And, and remember that you can do all of these things nested or layered in among each other. You could transform it, you could insert things, you could change the heights, do all of those things, and any Sinewali you know can be expanded <laughs> almost infinitely. So I'm going to talk about, like I said, several transforms. I'm going to use those and I'm going to illustrate those with uh, several basic Sinewalis. So just to set the level, level set right, a couple things. So talking about uh, chambers or carries, so we've got an open center carry, right? Open center, mid-level kind of carry. We've got a open side carry. We've got a closed side, okay? Chamber, carry, whatever you want to call it. So from those, then as far as the Sinewalis go, I'm going to use single Sinewali, double Sinewali, X Sinewali, and then Sinewali 8 that we talked about last time to be a little more complex uh, example of some of these transformations. So just to remind you, when I mean single Sinewali, and you may call it differently, what I mean for single Sinewali is just high, low, one stick, high, low, other stick. So that's single Sinewali for the purposes today, okay? I'm not even doing the, the combination or the traditional. I'm just doing the, the open center chamber, high, low, high, low. So that's your single Sinewali. Um, double Sinewali is you're going to be your closed right or closed single-sided carry, and you're just going to go one high, low, high, 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 high, low, high. Okay? So that is your double Sinewali. Very common. Some people call it heaven and earth. Um, However you want to call it, I don't care. That's my second example. Third example is going to be X Sinewali. Remember, that's kind of merging two single Sinewali, so it's going to be high on one side, go through, high on the other side, low on the right side, low on the left side, and then you start over again. High right, high left, low right, low left, back again. High, high, low, low. High, high, form an X, do the X down there, break the X apart. Form an X, break an X. Form an X, break an X. Form X, break an X. So that's your X and the Wally for the purposes of today. And then lastly, remember we had uh, Cinewally 8 camp. So it's going to be high, low, high, low, our knees pose, and then reverse Cinewally. So we've combined a few things. We put an insert, we put a prefix, we put a suffix, and that's sort of one of your com you know, more, a little more complicated Cinewally. It's fairly simple still, but it'll serve to illustrate the transforms I'm talking about. And all right, so back to uh, Cinewally 8 count again. Remember, it's going to be high, low, high, low, Arnie's pose, and reverse Cinewally. High, low, high, low, pose, reverse Cinewally. High, low, high, low, pose, reverse Cinewally. High, low, high, low, pose, and come underneath, reverse Cinewally. So eight counts, one, two, three, four, same stick, five, other stick, and six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, same stick, other stick, and then six, seven, eight. So that's your eight count. I'll use those as examples. So the first thing I want to talk about is inverted Cinewale. So inverted, imagine there's a plane going through my body, and I'm going to duplicate the Cinewale. What was high is low. What was under is over, what was low is high, and just going to reflect the Cinewale along this plane through the middle of my body. So, for single Cinewale, remember single Cinewale was high, follow through, low, high, follow through, low. If I was going to invert that, I'm going to go low, follow through, high, low, follow through, high, low, follow through, high, low, follow through, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high. That's not the same as changing the targets of, of single Cinewale. If I was going to go changing the targets, I would be going low. Well, in that case, sorry, it is. 
I got turned around here. So that's just like changing the swallow. Because if I follow through the normal single swallow, I, I follow through and go low. Follow through and go low. If I do the inversion, I follow through low and go high. Bounce off. Follow through low and go high. Follow through low and go high. So in that case, it's just like changing the targets. That is not always the case. So we'll show you that on the next one. So for double Sinawali, inverting the Sinawali looks like this. So the normal Sinawali is high, low, high. If I invert that, I need to, one, I need to change my guard, my chamber. Chambers needs now to be open, right chamber. And I'm going to still use the right, but I'm going to go low. Low, high, low. Low, high, low. Low, high, low. So it's like reverse Sinawali, except I've just changed the height of the second hit, okay? That is inverting it. If I would just, just change the targets for double Sinawali, it would go low over my other stick, then high, and then low. You could do that. Low, high, low. That's double Sinawali, low, high, low. But notice that when I change for the inversion, I'm actually going under the left stick to do the inverted double Sinawali. So I'm going under to do the inverted Sinawali. So it's a little bit different. So watch out for that when you're inverting a Sinawali, you might have to change who's going over what stick. The normal Sinawali, the right goes over the left. Even if I go low, right? If I go low, high, low, low, high, low. That's not the inverted Sinawali. The inverted Sinawali is I go low underneath the left stick, high, low. Low underneath, high, low, okay? If I do that with the X Sinawali, X Sinawali, remember, is high, high, low, low. Just classic high, low, X Sinawali. If I want to duplicate that, then I have to go same chamber this time. I'm gonna go here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. And you'll notice that that is actually gonna be the same as just changing the targets. If I change the targets from high on the first two strikes to low, then I've just inverted the Sinawali. So changing the targets completely opposite is the same as inverting it for single Sinawali and X Sinawali. It's not the same for double Sinawali because you're going either over the, the left stick or over the left stick or under the left stick. So keep aware of that. If we do that for uh, Sinawali 8, then it also is not the same as just changing the targets. So remember, Sinawali 8 was high, low, double sticks, but recoil, and then high, low. If I'm gonna do that again, I have to now change my chamber to do the inversion so that I go high, low, low, high. So that's the first part. And then what was low for my pose is gonna be high for my pose. And then I do heaven six, right? Or high sun water. One, two, three. That then is the inverted of high, low, high, low, high, low, 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 okay? High, low, high, low, low, okay, sorry. High, low, high, low, 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 low. That's sun water eight. If I do the inversion, I'll just do one half of it. If I do the inversion, it's changing your, your chamber to go low, high, low high, high, and one, two, three. Okay, so you notice that some looks like it's just changing the target, some looks like it's inverting. So inversion is another way nifty to play with Sinawali. So that transforms the whole framework and sometimes it completely changes it and sometimes it doesn't. So you have to watch out for the chamber, you have to watch out for the character of what's going on. It gives you another option to play with rather than just only changing targets. It gets really complicated when you put abanicos in there and double zeros and all sorts of stuff like that. All right, another transformation is, uh, let's, I wanna do it in order, side matching. Oh, that's easy, okay. So side matching. So. For, for normal Sinawalis, you're copying me, right? We're copying each other and we're meeting for some force. Your right stick is meeting my right stick. Your left stick is meeting my left stick, okay? We're doing the same things with the same hands so they meet as if they're doing uh, what we call <laughs> S symmetry. If we do it to where it's the same side matching, so instead of matching hands, we match sides. 
So if you're coming at me with your right hand, I should then do everything with my left hand that your right hand does, and vice versa. With your left hand, I should do my right hand. So if we're somebody who's looking at us in this plane, we are mirroring each other, okay? So my left counters your right. So for single Cinewally, if you are doing high-low on your right side, then I'm gonna be doing high-low meeting you with my left hand, high-low, high-low, high-low. So you notice that is not changing the height. That is going the opposite direction. So now that's single Cinewally with the hand matching. So he, his right hand matches my left hand. His, I mean, sorry, your side matching. So his, this side of us is matching as opposed to me matching hands. So when he comes at me with his right hand, I use my left hand. When he comes at me with his left hand, I use my right hand. And then he comes at me again with his right hand, I use my left hand, okay? So it's picking, if, I, if I'm looking at the screen there, so I'm cheating. So if I see, then I, I can see that what's coming at me this side with his right hand, I'm gonna use my left hand. So it's just changing the handedness of, against what's coming at you. So that one you kind of need a partner, unless you wanna figure out in your head. Single Sunwali, like I said, it's easy. You're gonna go out and through instead of in and through. So single Sunwali is in and through. Boom, 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 boom. Single Sunwali with the hand matching is out and through. Out and through. So it's backhand, forehand. Backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. That doesn't always hold true, but in general, it's probably a good way to start at doing this side matching. He's coming with a forehand, I block it with the other hand doing a backhand. He's coming at me with a, a backhand, I block it with a forehand, with the other hand. So that's the single Sinawali uh, version. If I do the double Sinawali version, so remember it's right, high, left, low, right, backhand. So I'm gonna be going left, high, right, low, and left, high. Okay, just like I'll still do this one, I'll go right, high, left, low, right, high. And then when it comes through, left, boom, boom. So I have to figure out the using the wrong hand, if you will, for the same attack. He's coming at me with the normal double center wall. I'm going to go, oh yeah, bam, bam, bam. There, that's my opposite version. Okay, bam, bam, bam. So that's the double Cinewale version. X Cinewale. So X Cinewale, again, I was going inwards, inwards, outwards, outwards. So the handedness mirror, the mirror version of it, would be outwards, outwards, inwards, inwards, outwards, outwards, inwards, inwards. Okay? So it's pretty simple, straightforward. So the, adult, the single Cinewales are pretty easy to change handedness. Um, okay. So, let's see, we did that. Oh, Sinwali 8. So Sinwali 8 is an, another challenge. So Sinwali 8, he's coming at with his right hand, so that means my first one has to be left. So do Sinwali 8 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's Sinwali 8 count. So again, I have to go one, two, boom, boom, okay? And then his, his next thing is left hand, so I do right hand, sorry, right hand low. Right? And then there, now you get complicated because I have to go one, two, three. Okay, sorry. So I'm doing, normally it's going to be reverse one is one, two, three. So if I'm doing the opposite of that, my left hand, I need to know that, wow, this low one coming on this side, so this guy. Another low one coming on this side, so this guy, and then this guy. And then we're done. Okay? So one more time. The mirrored version of Sinawali 8 is going to be left high backhand, right low forehand, okay, and then left high backhand follow through to left low forehand because he was doing a backhand there, okay, right, because he did bun two in his next one, okay, so the next count is we just did one, two, three, okay, and the next one is, wait, sorry, one, two, three, four, right, then the next one is, he's coming at me with the other stick, so I'm gonna have to go here to block that, and then I'm going to have to go one, two, there, okay? So, some of these are a little complicated to figure out, but that's why we do them, right? Because Cinewallies put you out of your comfort zone so that you can develop, right? Develop new skills, new reactions, new control over your sticks and your tools. 
So that's the second transform I'll talk about is the mirroring the hand. So match left versus right and right versus left for every strike. That's the key. Match left versus right and right versus left versus every strike. Whereas normal sinuales are matching hand to hand. Okay? Normally. Alright, the last transformation I want to talk about is zoned or regional. So a regional transformation or zoned transformation is that I'm going to pick a hand and go, wow, my right hand is going to hit everything that's high. And my left hand, my left stick is going to go low. And then maybe for the other side, I'll swap it. So that's to keep it easy. Um, you can do the other way around. I can say, oh, my right hand is going to go low and my left hand will go high. But you pick a zone, high or low, for each hand and make sure that's the hand doing the job. So for double Cinewally, I mean for single Cinewally, it's high, low, high, low, same stick. But for this one, because I'm picking a zone, if I pick right is high, in this case, and left is low, then I go, <laughs> so I go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, because the right is picking all the high ones, and the left is picking all the low ones. So it's another way to, to play with it. High, low, high, low. So his first one comes in. I would normally meet it with this one, because that's right to right. So that's fine for that first one. But since the right is only hitting high, his next one, I don't get to come down here. I have to go here. So high, low, high, low. Okay. So he's going high, low, high, low. This is what he's doing to me, or she. To do the hand in, or to do the zoned version, I'm going high, low, high, low. Okay. So I've picked. And it's hard to show. I get it. Hard to show um, some of these without with one person in the air. But the idea is, again, whatever goes to the high, my right hand is going to do all the high things, my left hand is going to do all the low things. And swapping it around, my right hand will, or my left hand will do all the low things, the high things, and my right hand will do all the low things. And you can swap. There's two versions, all right? You can be right high this side or right high on the other side. It could be right high on this side or left high on this side, which means that the other stick will be low. Or it could be right high on this side or left high on this side. So you've got two versions of the zoned uh, Cinewally transformation that you can play with. So that was it for double Cinewally. For single Cinewally, you'll notice it's its own zone mapping. Because I'm going for double Cinewally Classic, I'm checking high, low, high. Right is always high, and then left is always high. So in this case, Cinewally, double Cinewally, is its own right high zoned version. Okay, If I were to change it so that now he's doing right left, right, high, low, high. I should be doing left, right, left, high, low, high. So I'm going to have to change my guard. So it's going to be high, right, low, high, high, low, high, high, low, high. Okay. So you give uh, one of your hands the job of guarding the high portion of the low part or attacking the high portion of the low portion. Now, originally I said striking uh, Cinewalla drills are striking drills, and they are. But to work some of these transformations, sometimes it's easier to switch gears and go, okay, he's feeding me the normal Cinewalla, he's attacking me, so I'm going to defend or I'm going to hit those things that are coming in with the transformed Cinewalla. So that's what I like to do sometimes is, is switch gears, break my rule, because all rules are made to be broken, and think of them as defenses, because then I know what he's, he's coming in with because we're working a Cinewalla, this is just a drill. But the more change-ups I can do and push myself, the more adaptable I am, the more coordinated I am, the more able I am to just flow into whatever needs to happen in a, in a, in a more real situation because I can adapt to anything that's coming in. I can, I can change hands, I can change hand in this, I can change character, I can change targets. All bets are open once you start transforming your center always this way. And there's probably other, other transforms, so I'd encourage you to do a few things. Um, play with the different transforms, so you've got the inverted, right? Everything that's high is low and vice versa. Everything that goes over a stick now goes under a stick. Um, it's mirrored across this plane through the center of my body. And then the mirrored Cinewally or the, or the hand, uh, side matching Cinewally is the counter to the hand matching. Right for right, left for left, right for right. That's the standard. The counter to that, or the opposite version of that, is mixing up the hands. Whatever you do right-handed, I'm doing left-handed. Whatever you do right-handed, I'm doing left-handed. Um, so that's the second transformation. The third transformation, like I said, is zoning. So all the, everything high is going to be right-handed. Everything low is going to be left-handed on this side. And then I'm going to switch. Everything high is going to be left-handed. Everything low is going to be right-handed. That's the other transformation. 
come up with your own transformations, mix and match them, inter you know, in, in, ingrain them with the other things you can do to some like changing the targets, changing the characters, adding inserts, adding prefixes, adding suffixes. Do all of those things together and you have an infinite number of Cinewales. You can also get them as long as you want. You can have a two count Cinewale, you can have a one count Cinewale, you can have all the way to a 30 count Cinewale that we've actually done and me and my students, or you can go out to writing out, figuring out in your head, a hundred count Cinewale. It's, it's up to you. <laughs> and then you can change all the characters. Again, you, you can be busy for as long as we're gonna be locked down, you can work your Cinewale variations against your post or your telephone pole or your wooden dummy or a person who's a bump on the log, I don't really care. Uh, anyway, so lastly, I promised that I was gonna share a Cinewale that I developed, um, called the Spiral Cinewale or the Double Zero Cinewale. It's got a few things. You can think of it as a single Cinewale with some inserts and prefixes and suffixes. You can think of it as a double Cinewale with some suffixes and some inserts. I, it doesn't really matter, but let me walk you through it. So we're gonna do a closed right side carry or chamber and I'm not going to worry about the footwork right now. I want you to naturally move around because there's some fast footwork that happens here if you want to actually match it for low strikes. But just for the cane strikes, we're going to go high, low. So the, the high goes through and the low bounces back. As the low is bouncing back, I'm going to do a backhand low. Okay. So it's high, low, and then backhand low. Okay. High, low, backhand low. That's the first three counts, there's six counts. So high, low, backhand, low. Now, once you've got that under control, right? High, low, so it looks a little bit like double Cinewale, but I'm gonna change directions, okay? So I'm gonna go back to where I was. So the first two counts are like double Cinewale, and then I decide to not follow through and go back the other way. High, low, backhand, low. Now, the fourth count, the third and fourth counts I like to do in one beat, okay? I like to do it in one beat because I don't want to leave a hole there, but I also want to make sure that it's as fast as, the, as I want it to be. So I go high, low, low, and then spin up and hit the tempo, okay? So it's high, low, just like double center wally, but now I bounce back, I hit that knee, and I spin up and hit that tempo. Now I'm really wound up pretty good. So I'm just gonna unwind. So I'm gonna go low, and parole high. Boom. That's my six counts in a wall. So it's high, low, low spiraling up to the temple. Now unwind. Low, high. And I can start over again. High, low, low spin, low, high. So it's high, low, low, high, low, high. High, low, <laughs> sorry. High, low, low, high, low, high. High, low, low, high, low, high. Okay? So hitting something, it might make it easier for you to see. High, low, low, spin, high, low, high, okay? So high, low, whoops, sorry. High, low, low, high, low, high. High, high, low, low, high, low, high. High, low, low, high, low, high. High, low, low, high, low, high. High, low. So it's got a, a spiral in there. Hopefully you got that. <laughs> There's some neat things you can do there. You can change uh, what was a wittick into a loptic, or sorry, a follow through. Uh, that will add in extra strikes or extra beats or extra attacks. It's a lot, it's a good way to, another way you can mess with your Sinawalis to find an insert is to whatever was a wittick in your, in your Sinawali, you go ahead and change it up and make it a follow through, okay? That, that will open things up for you or will challenge your coordination. All right, so one last time on my simile. High, low, bounce back the other direction but go low and then spin up to hit the tempo, okay? If you're doing this two person, you should decide whether you're both are gonna be angled 
low, which is more realistic to hitting my temple, or if you're both going to be angled high. Now, I don't want you to be both horizontal because you're going to hit each other's knuckles, so be careful of that. But in the air, all bets are off, or against, uh, against a post, who cares? You can do horizontal, but be aware when you're working with a partner, you're going to have to choose what the angle of that stick is so you don't hit each other's hands if you miss distances. So high, low, low, spiral up and hit high. Then you unwind, hit low, and hit high again. Then you change it up. High, low, low spiral, low hit. I like this a lot. It just feels natural, right? Just feels natural. I like it a lot. Um, a lot of good power there. Bam, okay, a lot of good wind up. You can feel your structure, you can feel what's natural as far as movement goes. Anyway, I like it, uh, but again, I came up with it, so maybe I'm biased. Uh, it's nothing special, it's just another way to challenge your coordination, put different things in your cinewales. Lastly, don't get stuck. Like I said, at the very first one, you can put in things that you wouldn't normally think of as cinewales. Pokes, puños, kicks, <laughs> elbows, <laughs> I don't really care. Mix it into flow, and, and if, if you get really used to it, Eventually, your Sinawali practice, even though you make yourself go through all these different targets, it gets to be very, very random, and you've got a, a very robust, very wide, far-ranging understanding of what you can do with your double stick Karenza. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, that's, uh, that's it for my let's explore all the things you can do with Sinawalis. There's more that you can do. You guys can, can come up with lots of cool things. I know that uh, I'm not a Sinawali expert, just sharing my way of breaking it down and exploring it. What I'm going to do in the future is have little Sinawali segments or shorts, and I'll pick a single Sinawali, not the single Sinawali, but a, a, a one, one Sinawali and kind of tear it apart and look at it and play with it, uh, and we'll go from there. Those will be much shorter. So I appreciate your patience with these. Hopefully they were fun. Um, if you liked it, then like and share when I put it on YouTube, but this is the live version, uh, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for coming. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. And be safe.